Hi there and welcome to Hans's creative show. Today we're gonna make an LED project! Yeah! I want to make some cool wall LED lights, similar to the Nano Leaf Auroras. I think it's gonna be a fun challenge. This project can basically be divided into three different challenges. The shape, the light and the diffusion, the color and the color patterns. So first things first, we're gonna start with the shape and that we're gonna 3D print. So I printed eight of these over the course of several days and before I do anything more to them I'm just gonna use some spray paint to give them a different color or the same color actually. So we're basically done with the shape. Kind of afraid that this circle here won't be large enough to hold enough LED strips to make this thing light up when the room is already lit. So my other idea was to just place it around the entire thing. The problem then is that the cable in the middle will maybe obstruct the light and create a shadow of a cable. Hmm, I'm not quite sure, but I did buy some diffusers, so before we cut them, we can just put the uh, diffusers on top and test everything and see see what we get. Get. Get up. And that looks pretty great actually. Okay, so at full white brightness, we are at 0 0.6 amps. If we multiply that by 10, we will have 6 amps. That's on 12 volts. Now I know how to proceed, so I'm just gonna remove the circles of all the shapes, cut the LED strips, solder on the connectors, and then we can begin to add the diffusers on top. So let's go! So it seems to work except for those two here and I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe there's a bad solder or maybe there's just a voltage drop. I'm not quite sure. I have to do some investigation. And this is when they're off. Okay, so I know what's going on here. Those are two different kinds of LED strips and I didn't see that some of the pins are actually changed on this these two here. So I have soldered the ground wire to the signal wire and the other way around. So I'm just gonna switch that and hopefully that will make it work as it should. Hmm. I couldn't quite figure out what was wrong, so I'm just gonna replace the two LED strips.
Now I have to cut the diffusers into hexagon shapes. And this is 3 millimeter thick acrylic. And I'm gonna cut it by scoring the lines and then snapping it along those lines. I think that's gonna create a very clear and clean cut comparing to a saw. I think having a CNC machine would be great, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna take the time it takes. Well, that only took a day. At least now I'm done and I can focus on gluing them on and then I can do the light and the electronics. To glue them on, I'm just gonna use some normal super glue to get it to stick right, but also if I need to, I will be able to take them off. I think that's kinda nice. <laughs> Let's connect them all together and see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty nice, I like the shapes, I like the clean cuts. Everything looks great except for the light itself. I think the effects are a bit too messy and they're, it's obvious that they are not really made to fit these lights and that's because these are just some pre-programmed light effects that comes with this controller. I will leave a link for it if that's what you like but I want to program my own light that really fits with this kind of lighting. I'm gonna write some code that enables me to control the lights via my cell phone using the Blink app. So if you want to walk through on the code I will leave one on our Patreon page and of course I will make the code available for everyone. So what I did was I 3D printed this box and put all the electronics on the inside of it. It's basically just an ESP32 but I had to attach a voltage step down and a logic level shift to be able to control the LED strips with the ESP32. And now that everything physical is done, I just have to write the code to create some cool light effects and to be able to control it with my phone. put the lights on the wall and the app is ready. As I said, I made it using Blink and I added a couple of features so that the lights can fade between different colors independently of each other. I also made a setting to set the color of the light to a static light. The camera doesn't really catch the brightness of the color, it kind of makes everything white and uh, blended out. But the color is very vibrant and you can really see the color popping. I will try to get some better shots of it on the B-roll. The app is quite simple to use and it's very easy to add new features to it if I want later. As I said, I will add the code to GitHub and I will put a schematic of the electronics in the description. And I will also make a separate code walkthrough video, but that will only be available for our patrons. So if you want to support us, go to our Patreon page and check that out.
I really loved making this project and I think the result is one of my favorites so far. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon in a new project.